Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a poncho made out of six 15 inch granny squares. As you can see, I am not in my normal recording area and that is because I am dealing with some unexpected things right now, but I still wanna get this video up. So if it is somewhat echoey in here, I am sorry, or if you hear some random noises, that is why. So let's get into this video. I am using a Lions brand Mandala yarn, size three and a five millimeter hook. I am going to start with a magic ring and chain three. Right off of this magic ring, one, two, and three. And then trip crochet 20 times into the magic ring. When you have all 20 triple crochets in the magic ring, you can pull that closed and then slip stitch into the top of the first triple crochet, skipping right over that chain three. So for round two, we are again going to chain three, which in this case does count as a stitch, and we are going to triple crochet one time into the same stitch, and then two times into the next stitch, and in every single stitch all the way around. So two triple crochets for every stitch all the way around this row. When you have made it all the way around this row, you will slip stitch into the top of the third chain of the beginning three. I did forget to mention at the beginning of this video that if you need to see any of these stitches or the magic ring in a closer look, I will link videos for those in the description box below. And for this next row, we are going to start by chaining five which does count as a triple crochet and a chain one. Then we will triple crochet into the next stitch. Then chain one and triple crochet into the next stitch and repeat this all the way around again by chaining one and triple crocheting into the next stitch all the way around. When you get to the end of that round, you will end with a chain one. So then we will slip stitch into the fourth chain of the beginning five of the round. And then we are going to slip stitch into this next chain space here. So insert your hook in this area, pull up a loop and pull that loop through the first. And that moves our stitch over into this space area where we want to work our next stitch. So we're going to chain three and then start a triple crochet in the same chain area, leaving the last loop on the hook. And again, starting a triple crochet in the same space, leaving the last loop on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Chain one and then work a triple crochet cluster of three triple crochets in this next chain space. So again, work a triple crochet up to the last two loops on the hook, two more times for three triple crochets with the last loop on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain one and do that in the next stitch again and every stitch all the way around, making a cluster of three triple crochets and then chaining one. When you get to the end of round four, we will again end with a chain one and slip stitch into the top of the first cluster stitch that we did. And then we are going to flip our work over and work the opposite way because we are going to be making some bobble stitches. So we are going to chain two, which does count as half of a double crochet. And then we will do four more double crochets in this next chain space here leaving the last loop on the hook. So I have one, we're going to do three more, leaving the last loop on the hook for a total of five double crochets and then yarn over and pull through all five. Then we will single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch, just like that. And again, work five double crochets up to the last loop, leaving the last loop on the hook in the next stitch, so that is two, three, 
4 and 5. When you have all five in there, you will yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch. And do that all the way around, starting five double crochets in the next chain space. Yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and single crochet into the next cluster stitch all the way around this row. When we've made it all the way back around, we will end with one single crochet in the top of the last cluster stitch, and then we will slip stitch into the top of the first bobble stitch right here. So slip stitch right into that, and then we are going to flip our work back over the correct way, and then we are going to chain three, and triple crochet right into the next single crochet right here which is right in front of the bobble stitch. And then we will triple crochet two times into the top of the bobble stitch, which is this stitch right here. So we are going to triple crochet one time in that stitch. Now you can see it a little better. And we will triple crochet another time into that same stitch. And then triple crochet into the next single crochet right in between those two bobble stitches and repeat that all the way around by doing two triple crochets into the top of the next bobble stitch. And then a triple crochet into the next single crochet. And again, repeat that all the way around. When we get to the end of that round, we will end with two triple crochets in the last bobble stitch and then slip stitch into the top of the first triple crochet. So for this next round, round seven, we will start off with a chain five, which again does count as a triple crochet and a chain one. And then we are going to triple crochet into the same stitch. So this creates a V stitch for us in this first stitch. Then we will skip a stitch down here, skip this one and go into this next stitch with a triple crochet again. And then we will chain one and triple crochet into the same stitch again for our next V stitch. So we're going to do that all the way around, skip the next stitch and go into the next with a triple crochet, chain one and triple crochet into the same stitch again. Repeat that all the way around. When we get to the end of that round, we will have one last V stitch in the second to last stitch, having one last stitch to skip, and then slip stitch into the fourth chain of the beginning five of the round. And for this next round, we are going to slip stitch into the chain space again, so that we start in this chain space. And then we're going to start off by doing a chain two and a cluster stitch of four double crochets. So this counts as the first with the last loop on the hook. So we will start three more double crochets for a total of four, and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. And then we will chain one, two, and three, and then do a cluster of four double crochets in the same chain space again. So we will start four double crochets leaving the last loop of each of them on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook for a cluster of four double crochets. So then we are again going to chain three. Then we are going to skip the next chain space and single crochet in the next after that. So that is one single crochet. We are going to chain two and single crochet into the next chain space. So that is two single crochets. Chain two, single crochet into the next chain space, three single crochets, and do that until you have 12 single crochets. Okay, I now have 12 single crochets. So here is our chain three that we ended off with after doing our cluster stitch. And our first single crochet then we chain two and single crocheted, chain two, single crocheted, 
chain two, single crocheted. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 single crochets. So once we have that done, we are going to again chain three and skip the next chain space and work a cluster of four double crochets in the next chain space and yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Then again, chain one, two, and three and do another cluster of four double crochets in the same chain space. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and chain three again. Then skip the next chain space and single crochet into the next after that. And chain two, single crochet into the next chain space, chain two, single crochet into the next chain space, and repeat this same pattern all the way around, making sure that you have 12 single crochets in between each corner that you have, which will consist of four double crochets clustered together. When you make it all the way around round eight, we will end with a single crochet and the last chain three, and we will skip the last chain space and slip stitch into the top of the first cluster that we made. So for this next round, round nine, we are going to continue squaring off this granny square. So we are going to slip stitch into this chain space here so that we start working from here. And we're going to chain three, which counts as one triple crochet. And then we're going to triple crochet two more times into this chain space for three triple crochets. And then we are going to chain three again and work three more triple crochets into the same chain space. And then we will turn our work and start working down this side. So we are going to work four triple crochets in this next chain space here, which is the chain three. And then in the next chain space, the first chain two space, we are going to work three double crochets. So two and three double crochets. In the next chain space, we are going to work three half double crochets. So two and three half double crochets. And in the next seven chain spaces, we are going to work two single crochets. For a total of 14 single crochets, two in the next seven chain spaces. Okay, as I said, we have our four triple crochets, three doubles, three half doubles, and then seven sets of two single crochets. And then we will do the same thing we did on the other side with three half double crochets in the next space. And three double crochets in the next. And again, four triple crochets around the chain three space. And then when we make it to the very corner of our square again, we are going to work three triple crochets around the chain space. Chain three and work three more triple crochets around the same chain space. And that is our pattern that we're going to be working for this round. So in the next space, just like we did here, you would work four triple crochets. In the next, three double crochets, three half double crochets in the next, and then in the middle seven spaces, we will work two single crochets for a total of 14 single crochets. Then again, do the same thing with three half double crochets, three double crochets, four triple crochets, and then in the very corner, we will, we will work three triple crochets, three chains, and again, three triple crochets, repeating that all the way around. 
When we have made it back around, we will end with the four triple crochets in the chain three space, and we will slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three of this round. And for round 10, we will chain one, two, and three again, which does count as a stitch, and triple crochet into the next two stitches. And into the chain space, we will triple crochet two times. And then we will chain three, one, two, and three. And then triple crochet two more times into the same chain space. And so the pattern for this next round that we are doing for these three first triple crochets from the last corner. We will triple crochet into these as well. So three triple crochets into the first three stitches. And then we will double crochet into the next 34 stitches. So do a double crochet in each stitch for the next 34 stitches. After you have double crocheted in the next 34 stitches, we are left with three stitches left, which we will triple crochet into, and then we are left with the chain space in the middle, which again, we will triple crochet two times around, chain one, two, and three again, and triple crochet two more times around the same chain space and then repeat the same thing that we just did for the other side. When we are done with that round, you should be noticing that it is turning into a square now. If it isn't exactly laying flat, you can just stretch it out, do some stretching and make it sit correctly. But we should have ended with our 34 double crochets, which leaves us with these double triple crochets at the beginning, sorry. And then we will slip stitch into the top third chain of the beginning three. And for this next round, we will again chain three, which counts as our first triple crochet. And then we will triple crochet one time into the next four stitches until we get to the corner chain. And when we've made it to the corner, we will do two triple crochets in the corner again and then chain three and do two more triple crochets in the same space. And then we will go on and triple crochet one time in every stitch all the way to the other corner where we will repeat the same thing with two triple crochets a chain three and two more triple crochets in the same stitch and we will do that all the way around. When we've made it to the end of that round, we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three. And again, chain three, which does count as the first triple crochet. Then we will triple crochet one time in each stitch until we get to the corner chain space. And when we get to the corner chain space, we are going to triple crochet eight times into this space. When you have eight triple crochets in that chain space, we will continue doing one triple crochet in each stitch all along the next edge. And again, working eight triple crochets in the corner spaces and do this all the way around. When we get all the way around, we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three. And this will be our last round. We are going to do one single crochet in every stitch. So we're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And then single crochet into the next also. And in every single stitch all the way around, we are going to single crochet one time. When you get all the way back around with the single crochet row, 
we will end with the last single crochet in the last stitch and cut our yarn off. And we're going to pull this all the way through. Instead of slip stitching into the first single crochet, we're going to pull this string all the way through the last single crochet. So then I am going to attach a needle and finish the square off so that we cannot tell where exactly we ended. So after you've pulled it all the way through and attached your needle, we're going to take the needle and just go right under both pieces of yarn that are the first stitch, just like this, and pull it through, and that will pull that tight. Don't pull it too tight though because we're going to make this look like it is a stitch. So then you will take your needle and go through this back loop of the last stitch that we did. And that makes it look like we have another stitch there. So on the back of this, I'm going to go through this next piece of yarn here, just weave it in there, and kind of follow some stitches of this crochet, just like this. And then I'm going to tie it on to this piece of yarn right here with a simple knot. Just like that. And tie another knot just to secure that there. And then weave in this end just a little bit more wherever you would like to. Just so it stays put. and cut that off. And that is the end of the square. So then go back and weave in this in a circle. And then you will want to make six of these squares. And I will see you guys when I'm done doing that. When you have all six squares made, you will decide which four squares you are going to use for your body of your poncho and for the hood of your poncho. Once you have decided that, you will place one here like this and fold another in half. So this will be the front of our poncho and this will be a shoulder. Then fold another one in half over here and this will be a shoulder. And we will connect them with the tops like this and like this. And then you will have another one on the bottom which you will connect to the other side of these folded squares here. When you have decided which squares you are going to use where, we are going to, of course, start connecting them. So I have two here. This one's going to be my front, this one on the bottom, and this one here is going to be a shoulder one, which was folded in half. And I'm now just going to put both of the faces of them together and sew along the edge that connects. So I'm going to, of course, take a yarn and needle and find the fourth stitch in the middle, which of course is the middle of the eight of the corner, and go through that stitch on the front one, and do the same on the back. Go through the fourth stitch, and just connect those with a small knot, double knot. And then I am just going to whip stitch all the way along this edge, going from the front to the back. I'm going to start off in that same stitch that I just tied a knot into first. And again, go from the front to the back, making sure to catch both stitches of the front and back square. Whip stitching those together all the way along. When you make it all the way along that edge of our square, you are going to end on the fourth stitch in the other corner and tie a knot and just weave in this end wherever you would like. So now we have the front of our poncho and a shoulder of our poncho that are connected right along here. So we are going to do the same thing for this other side have a square folded in half that will be our other shoulder right here on this side. So we're going to connect these two sides here. So we're going to make the two faces front each other. 
or face each other. And so right along this edge here, making sure to meet up with the middle stitches on both corners. When you have finished connecting that square to the other square, we are going to completely flip this over. And so now this is the back of our poncho where our shoulders would fold over, just like that. And our last square is going to go right here. So we are going to make sure to do it inside out and connect this side here. And once that's connected, we're going to connect it to this side on this one right here. So right now, this is what we've got with it facing outwards. This is still the front. This is a shoulder square. This is a shoulder square. And this is now the back square. So to fold it over, we are going to connect the front and the back square, making the shoulder square fold in half. We're going to fold this shoulder square back in half. And so we connect this back square to the shoulder square right here on this edge. Here is the poncho body put all together and flipped right side out. This is the front, shoulder, shoulder, and back. And now that that is all sewn together, we are going to take our last two squares and make a hood. So we're going to put this one face up, this one face down on top of it, and then we will choose two sides to start from the middle of the corner, sew down this edge, and then sew down another edge. So choose two sides, sew those two sides together, and I will meet you guys when I'm done doing that. When you have your hood all put together, sewn up all the way on two sides, you can flip it right side out and set it aside for when we need it in a few minutes. So now we are going to bring the poncho back. Here it is. And I am going to do a few rounds around the neck and a few rounds around the outside. So first I want to start with the neck. I decided I was not so fond of this square and that I would like this one to be the front. So I'm gonna start in the back. Grab my crochet hook again and my yarn. And I am going to just make a loop on my hook. Then I am going to start on this side of the middle just to get this going. So all I'm going to do is insert my hook into whichever stitch you would like to start in and pull up a loop and slip stitch into that loop that we had on our hook. So now I am going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitch again. Then single crochet one time in every stitch until we get to the corner. When you get to the corner, we have this stitch that is connected to this stitch and this stitch that is connected to this stitch. So we are just going to continue to single crochet one time in all three of these stitches, although they are technically used already. Just put one single crochet in each one of those stitches. And then we will continue single crocheting down the other edge and do the exact same thing for the other corner, putting one single crochet in each of those stitches and then continuing on to meet back up with the first single crochet that we did. When we get back around to where we started, we are just going to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet that we did. And you can do however many rounds of this that you would like but I am going to do just one more round. So I'm going to chain one, single crochet one time into every single stitch all the way around until I get back to the single crochet that we just did. And then we will slip stitch into the top of that single crochet. Now that the neckline is finished, we are going to make a border around the outside of the poncho. I have already slip stitched on to the edge just like we did before, somewhat close to the corner. And we are going to chain one, 
and again single crochet one time into the same stitch and in every single stitch until the very corner of the poncho and in this case what I mean by that is I want the fourth and fifth stitch of the corner to be where we end up so here's one I'm in it two three and so here's the fifth and the sixth and I'm going to put two single crochets in both of those stitches for the very corner to expand that a little more and not have a wrinkle and then we are going to do one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the corner of this same square. Okay, I am now to where both squares connect. I have single crocheted in the last available stitch that there is, and I do not like the way that this dips in like this. So even though these two stitches are actually put together already, I am going to do a two single crochets together in both of them just to bring another stitch out as far as our border is going and then we will just single crochet into the next stitch and every stitch after that. So now as you can see instead of it dipping in so far it does come out a little bit more and make that border a little straighter of an edge. So we are going to do the same thing every single place the two squares meet and also add two single crochets in the very two middle stitches of the corner. And we're going to do that all the way around and then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. When you have made it all the way around and slip stitched back into the top of the first single crochet, I am going to do one more round. You can do however many rounds you would like, but for this round I am going to do a chain one and single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into every single stitch all the way around. If you are wanting to do more than one more row on the outside of this, you will want to continue to add a few double single crochets in the corner stitches to continue expanding that but if this is your last round, just do one single crochet in every stitch. When we finish the outside border of our poncho, we are going to turn it back inside out so that the wrong side is facing out. And we are going to do the same thing to our hood, turning it back inside out. And here is the opening to our hood. Here is where it connects in the back. And I would suggest connecting this back corner to the back corner of your poncho and then connecting the side of the hood to the side of the poncho on one side and then connecting the other side of the hood to the other side of the poncho. And that's just because the stitches don't always line up perfectly so you don't want one side of the hood to be sticking off of the front further than the other. If you would like to count the stitches and do it that way, that's fine. I find this easier and faster, so that is what I do and suggest. When your hood is fully attached onto the body of your poncho, we are left with this last little hole, obviously, for our head in the poncho. And all we are going to do is do one last round around the hood to make that a fresh look. So again, I'm going to do the same thing with one loop on my hook and slip stitch that on to my poncho. And then I am going to do one chain and one single crochet in the same stitch and one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And right here in this corner, I'm going to do the same thing by adding an extra single crochet in that space that's already taken and continue doing one single crochet all the way around. When you get to the very top of the hood where your two squares meet for the hood, I am going to do the same thing that we did for the body of the poncho by bringing those two stitches that were already connected together in one single crochet to bring out that indent just a little bit and then continue doing one single crochet in every single stitch. When you make it back around to the beginning, we will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And if you want to end there, that is fine. I am going to do one more round 
course with one chain and one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you are done with the border of the hood, you can either call it quits there or you can add some fringe to the bottom of your shawl like I have done here. All I did was cut seven inch strands of yarn so that these are about three and a half inches. You can make them as long or as short as you would like. Then I put one piece of yarn in each stitch all the way around. Again, you can do just one or you can do two, three, or however many you would like, depending on how thick you would like this to look. And then all we are going to do is fold this piece of yarn in half, insert your hook into the stitch that you want it to go into, hook your piece of yarn on there and pull it through, then pull the two ends through the loop. and there you have it. When you have all of your pieces of yarn on there, you can go through and just trim up any of the super long pieces like this one is here because I've already trimmed the rest. So here it is, the crochet poncho. So I hope that that was enjoyable for you guys and if you have any suggestions or ideas of things that you want to see made, please comment in the comment section below because I am always open for new ideas and things to make. So I hope you guys want to make many more things and I will see you guys in the next one.